one and only band up clutch what's good boss cooler 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 what's the move man i see you out here moving man you got some hot tracks uh a lot of hot music right now i'd like to ask you how this all got started well you know us being and being in the hood being hood fellas you know what i mean i used to be on the block and we used to be looking at like the uh smack dvds you remember yeah. the chatters and all that uh -huh. but you know we grew up on the music but that what made me be like man you know what i should take this serious and then you know we always used to just be sitting around rapping yeah you rapping. remember your first song my so first yeah yeah, yeah 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 my first my first i remember my first song i recorded with my cousin lewis okay okay yeah. that's what's happening that's what's happening so uh it's three songs that we highlight we want to go behind the scenes a little bit about this music okay now you got this song with cuckoo cow and young meech called flex on them right can you let me know like who produced it how it got started and what led into the final product when it came to a banging ass video with some hot artists with you well uh we was in the studio it was me doc holiday shout out to doc holiday that's the mm -hmm. producer who made the beat yeah you know we was just looking through videos and you know catching the vibe me him and meech so you know we in there we vibing man he like man we need some 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 funk some old school right, right. but had an up tempo you know what i mean to where it can get the younger people and the older people that feel good music oh yeah that yeah. barbecue music is what we yeah. call it you know what i mean so I was like, man, we need to find some tempo that I got a call that I had to bust a move. So yeah. by the time I came back, Meets and Doc had them worked up some magic and had some pop, and I'm like, ooh, that's nice. Yeah. He like, man, he's like, oh no, I'm gonna have to sell this. I'm like, sell it for what? Yeah. Cash it. <laughs> cash it. I'm talking cash it on the spot. Like, this ain't going nowhere. Like, right. uh, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna buy the rights to everything right now. You know what so I mean? So you and Meets were in the studio together and added cuckoo later on? Yeah, uh, Meech, and, uh, Meech and Doc was going to going back and forth over the hook that, you know, we was thinking about the song. Yeah. And then they hit me about it, and then I had recorded it. And when I recorded I came back to Doc and recorded it. I recorded everything with Doc. And then <clears throat> I had a manager at the time, Dante yeah. Chestnut. You know what right. I mean? Shout out to Dante Chestnut. I had him at the time, and he like, man, that's a banger. He was like, but it needs something. Like, what it need? on top. It, just yeah. needed, it was right. already a Sunday. It needed right. it. Pop. He like, it did so. I was like, man, I was thinking about Drew. Mm -hmm. He was like, you was thinking about Drew? I was like, yeah. He was like, hold on. He's like, I'll call you back. Then before he called me back, I heard Cuckoo called me. Yeah. So I'm like, Cuckoo? I'm like, nah. Then he called me. I, I got, got through to the manager. So I'm talking to him and he like, man, I'm finna get Cuckoo to holler at you. Yeah, I'm like, not? yeah. Oh, he, right. he was like, you ready to pay what he want for? I'm like, yeah, ASAP. <laughs> I pulled up to his house. Yeah. He was done though. He was done by the time I got the phone with him, talked to him about everything, the rundown, split sheets, paperwork, all that. By the time I got to come by the crib, he was done. Like he yeah. had everybody in the crib. That's why I could hear him playing for the bass. Huh? Laced it. I was about yeah. laced it. I come up there, he like, man, he like, that's the world, bro. And y'all yeah. was like, yeah. So I went over there and hollered and cashed him, and then we was in the basement just vibing. Everybody that came through loved it though. And uh who shot the video and what was the actual thought process to the to the concept well the actual video we had the first time we was gonna shoot it it rained us out oh man so you Ain't know that. that's why some of the scenes you see it was kuka one in there meech went there you know and then shout out to meech yeah. he and atl so we couldn't okay. really bring him in when it was going on so mm -hmm. i was like man i gotta get this done before the summer drop you know what i mean they really right. get the popping so I uh, hooked up my, my guy, John Battles. Everybody know him as John Doe, too. Mm -hmm. So I hooked up with him. Shout out to him because he's been doing a couple of my videos. I got another song by him, too, that he, uh, a video that he shot. But yeah, I hooked up with him. And then, uh, you know, being off the east side, yeah. I had to have the fire some rides. You know what I'm saying? I hit Cuz Odo for the drop. And then I hit Pito. Pito, like, yeah, come through. I got something for you. Mm -hmm. Then my cousin was coming out that day with they whip that nobody seen. So like, it was just like, man, it was perfect timing. How about this collaboration with you and Lucy Lou that I don't want your bitch? That's my jam. I be like, I disagree. I want his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, but you know how you always, like, it's crazy because it fits. Song go crazy. Uh, it fit, it fit. It, dude, we did that song the day I called her. Yeah. She didn't even know the hook or none of that. Yeah. I, I picked her up. We went to the studio and then my, uh, my cousin June on 35th was supposed to be on the two as well. Uh -huh. So, uh, long story short we got to the studio and then we laid our verses 
But I was telling her to hook on the way there. Yeah. And I'm like, man, this is our first time connecting. I wonder if she gonna be able to feel it. Like, as we ride, she like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I like this, I like this. We got to the studio, she heard to a whole different animal. Yeah, she had it ready. Yeah, especially when yeah. I laid the hook, she was like, dang, you made the hook sound like that. Then, you know, she got, she got the feeling and it was a vibe, like, yeah. it was a vibe. And ever since that day, we just been going crazy on whatever we do. I love when y'all perform together, man. It's always a show. I mean, it's always a show individually, but when y'all perform together, that energy match. Right. You know what I mean? Man. And uh, who shot that video? Uh, that's again, John Doe, man. Okay. John Doe, that, that, that's my you. partner, man. Yeah. Like, I can't, I can't, that, I had told him that I was going to try to get him my first 10 videos of any song mm. I did. You know what I mean? That's crazy. And like, because he looked out for me, like, and, and the prices he was throwing me was just perfect at the time for me grinding and trying to get out here. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to work with him. And, you know, it's like, it's kind of like a, a T Glaze and uh, what's the name? A, a chicken situation. Yeah, y'all building each other. Building yeah. each other brand. That's what it's all about. I'm going to rock with him, you know what I mean? And that brings us to, in my opinion, one of the hottest local songs of the year, that Drip. It got you, uh, Ballin' Ass J. McGee, and uh, Dave Dada on there. Yeah. And uh, Fat Boy 414 shot that video. Yeah. At the car wash we threw, you know, we was yeah. tarped up. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like that video too. How did y'all think about, man, we need we need some heavy hitters on the same page? Man, once again, it'd be the vibe and us being in the stool. <laughs> like, we, I, like, it got to a point, like, when I came and got back up with my guy, Million, mm -hmm. Million Production, shout out to the Perfection Studio. That's yeah. who did the beat, him and Tizzle. Shout out to Tizzle. Tizzle, man, they was, I got them together, you know. I had met Tizzle through my homies off the south side. Okay, okay. And then, you know, we linked up with that. I brought him over there to what my home was, which was with Million then. And they got them two together, man, and they put that beat down. Like, and we always in there, you know what I'm saying? But I had already wrote the hook and everything, because I'm like, man, let me write this song, because I was just yeah. writing off YouTube beats. Yeah. Just, just, just to uh, get I different styles, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like how I wanted to do it. And then he made that beat. And then I just came up with that, like right there, then, you know, Jay in there and Dot in there. Then Jay was like, man, you see what I did? Vibe, man. Like, yeah, the vibe was crazy. <laughs> then they Dot and said, I got the drip. You know, he yeah. can sing too. So I was like, oh, I'm like, we should do it like this. And, and then we both was just like, man, just man just lap right there. we said, like, we do that a lot. We get in the studio and they just come out natural. Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't, it ain't no fabricated story. Like, this is stuff that we really feel. Like, if you hear the verses, the verses are three different verses. Right. It's three different swags on that, you know what I right, mean? Right. And it's really that drip, you know what I mean? We could have got drippy like to where we brought out the chains, the big rims and all yeah. that. But we brought the drip. That's all he wanted was a drip. Right, right. You know what I mean? We ain't want to splash it. We want the drip. Yeah. That's so, it. So uh, what you got next for everybody that's tuned in, man? Man, I got this project dropping called Reality Check. Okay. Which got that drip is on there. Cool. You know, that's like, uh, Reality Check is going to be my first album. So... I really you dropping like dropping mixtapes. You've been dropping, been dropping mixtapes. Yeah, I got mixtapes. I got about nine, ten singles out. Okay, all right. right. But this gonna be the album. This gonna be the album. Like yeah. all original. Cool, cool. All original tracks on here. I got DJ Payne one, uh, Perfection Studio on the beats. I got Doc Holiday. Man, Doc Holiday been going crazy. Yeah. We got plenty of stuff in the works too that we got going on. Uh, shout out to DJ Payne one. Like that's one. That's my main beat maker that we go to. My brother Motion. We got the Band Up Music Group. Okay, you know? okay. Do so, they got a release date? Is that a two we? It's uh, the the release date that I was going for was <clears throat> after Thanksgiving, you know, mm -hmm. more of uh, December. But since with the coronavirus going on, it yeah. pushed a lot of stuff back because I really supposed to be on tour right now. So yeah. I had to back up and I got to drop it when it's right. You know what I mean? So sound like it's gonna be a fourth quarter project. You know what I mean? Somewhere around there, release date to be confirmed. Fourth quarter clutch. Yeah, you hear me? Um, yeah. For everybody that's paying attention and they don't know where to find you yet, let them know how to find you and your music. Man, you can find me and my music on Spotify, Tidal, um, YouTube, just Band Up Clutch. Band Up Clutch, all one word, Band Up Clutch. You can find me anywhere. And you can also find me through Pound Side Code Push 414, Pound Side Code Push MKE which is a movement that puts everybody that's from the mill that's trying to do something yeah, without charging y'all. Best rappers here. <laughs> best rappers, the best world, dancers, yeah. singers, twerkers, baby mamas, baby daddies. I'm pushing it. You got a business going on, I'm pushing yeah. it. And if it's something that can help give back to the community, I want to be a part of that. 
I just want to be a part of that. It's because I want to push with every, anything you got going on with the community. Yeah. Any kind of movement, protest, anything you got going on, as I could be a part of, I want to be a part of it. Yeah. And Cold Push on Fuck, we're going to push it. That's what's up, man. Well, I appreciate you sticking around. This uh, behind the scenes and uh, we in the cut. Y'all stay tuned, man. There you go.